Hello dear children of class 5 and welcome to yet another online class of general knowledge. Dear children, today we are going to do the 11th lesson from your GK book, Futuristic Toys. Futuristic Toys meaning toys from the future. You see dear children, once upon a time and since I am talking about ancient times, toys were the major source of entertainment for children. They are playable substances which provide you with ample entertainment. But as the time changed, people, inventors you can say, realized that toys can be used for many varied purposes other than entertainment. So they incorporated, they mixed, they installed modern technology in the toys, creating fascinating toys which make the children go surprised. You see, today we have toys with AI chips, artificial intelligence chips in them. Today we have toys which are pre-programmed. Today we have toys which can recognize voice. Today we have toys which can be controlled not only by a simple wire remote but also through radio controlled remotes. And they will perform the task and functions to your satisfaction. Not only this kind of toys dear children give you entertainment but at the same time they help you with your studies. They also take care of the safety of the tiny tots too. So today we are going to talk about few of those toys only. Now here in your book the descriptions of the toys are given. So what we will do? We will go through descriptions one by one. I will explain the descriptions to you and then we will write the name of the toy on the board and we will learn how to spell and pronounce it. Alright. So let's begin. So you have number one. A Storytelling toy robot that teaches science and maths through quizzes, games and stories. The stories feature the kid's name who own the toy as they go on an adventure. You see dear children, so this particular toy is actually a storytelling robot. It helps with the learning of science and maths. And how it teaches science and maths? Through stories, games and quizzes. So, but the most fascinating thing is the main character in the story is actually the program kid's name. Like suppose if I own this toy, then this toy will use my name to tell the stories. This particular toy dear children is known as Trobo. T-R-O-B-O. -O. Okay. Trobo. T-R-O-B-O. -O. Trobo. Then you have number two. It is a wristband toy and has to be worn as a bracelet. So it's a wristband toy which you have to wear like a bracelet. The device interprets the motions of the wrist and plays sounds based on the wearer action. So this device when you wear it like a bracelet it will interpret, it will understand the movement of your hands and accordingly it will create the sound. Like example is given, if the wearer wants to play tennis, it will create the sound of the real game. It means if you want to play tennis, all you have to do is wave your hand like you are playing tennis and this particular device will create the actual sound of the tennis giving you the idea that you are in an actual game. So this particular bracelet toy is known as MOF. M-O-F-F. -F. MOF. Okay. M-O-F-F. MOF. Then you have number three here. It is a powerful tiny robot that explains the learning of science and maths through a collection of game based activities. It sees colors, follows lines and performs many instructions. So you see this particular toy is actually a very powerful but tiny robot. Okay. It ha it like Trobo, it also helps in the learning of science and maths, but it does it through a collection of game based activities. Now most important part about this, ro part about this robot is that this particular robot can see and understand color, it can follow the lines and it can also perform many other pre-programmed functions. And this particular toy is Ozobot, O-Z-O-B-O-T. Ozo bot okay O Z O B O T 
ozo bot now coming to number 4 it is a wearable and shareable learning device okay this particular device is wearable means like a watch you can wear it in your hand plus it is shareable whatever information you gather in this watch you can share it through various mediums like maybe online media sharing or maybe through bluetooth or any other wireless connection it allows children to program toys which can talk to each other about any topic there are options to program the smart device now this particular device helps the children to program toys and then toys will be able to talk to each other like two normal people in a conversation and not only that this particular wearable toy also has an option through which children can program this toy to function better so you see this particular toy children actually can help you with software programming with software programming it can enhance your computer knowledge this particular toy is dynpod d y n e p o d dynpod okay d y n e p o d dyn pod so you see you have four toys okay first one trobo okay t r o b o trobo trobo is a storytelling robot that teaches science and maths through stories games and quizzes the stories feature kids name who own the toy as they go on adventures then second one second toy is known as moff m o w f moff moff is a wristband toy and has to be worn as a bracelet the device interprets the motion of the wrist and plays sounds based on wearer's actions for example if the wearer wants to play tennis it will create the sound of the real game then you have number 3 ozobot o z o b o t ozobot ozobot is a powerful tiny robot that explains learning of science and maths through a collection of game based activities it sees colors follows lines and performs many instructions and next one number 4 you have dynpod d y n e dyn p o d pod dynpod okay one word dynpod is a wearable and shareable learning device it allows children to program toys which can talk to each other about any topic there are options to program the smart device also now other than that okay dear children other than this four there is a fifth one okay actually it is a part of uh, amazing fact but i'll add it here okay because it is learnable it is tinitel t i n i t e l l tinitel t i n i t e l l tinitel so you see tinitel is a wearable phone and a gps tracker for children now tinitel is actually a wearable phone you can wear it on a wrist like a smart watch but and it is also a gps tracker for children putting this on the hand the parents can keep track of where the children are going from the home itself it has a hardware button to activate voice recognition to find a particular contact you see the ch- when children wear tinitel they don't have to dial numbers like phone only there is one hardware button they have to press it and they have to simply say who they want to call the device will recognize it and connect it to the person whom they want to call like suppose you are wearing tinitel and you are lost in a fair now if you are wearing this you don't have to cry all you have to do is press a button and maybe say call mother and automatically your mom will get a phone call and your mom will know where you are so you see it's a great device especially for small children so you have trobo mof ozobot dynpod and tinitel now apart from this dear children there is a quiz time now for quiz time there is a device given here you see in quiz time there is this particular device given it's a bracelet type of device okay it's a type of bracelet device now which device is this the option is given number a key band number b smart kid number c kid band and number d kids tracker your correct answer for this is key band k i b a n d k i b a n d key band okay number 2 what kind of a device it is okay now what kind of device it is number a a child safety device number b an activity based learning device number c a storytelling storytelling device 
and number D a gaming device this is a child safety device safety device this particular device is sub made is particularly made for child safety number 3 which of these statements is or are correct about the device number a it helps to track the child number b it allows the child to explore nature with an alert number c it rings an alarm when the child goes far from the parents and number d all of this your correct answer for number 3 is all of these so this particular device key band which is a child safety device it has three functions number one it helps to track the child okay it helps to uh, pinpoint the position of the child it can inform parent where the particular child is number two it allows the child to explore nature with an alert children can go anywhere if they are straying far away the key band will give an alert and number 3 it rings an alarm when the child goes far from the parent you see parents have a particular twin device of key band with them so whenever the child goes far away from the parent whenever the child goes out of the range of the twin device automatically the key band starts giving an alarm and through that alarm parent as well as child will know that they are dangerously far from each other so dear children this covers your quiz time and this covers your main exercises now dear children as far as your work goes you will write the description in the copy and you will write the name also no need to make the drawing also you will write the quiz time as it is given in the book i'll be providing you with the page clip and you can do it by yourself okay dear children thank you very much stay safe